Nosy Neighbors fan. Nosy Neighbors fans. It's Jessica Carden with Murdoch Man Marine Company. Your Nosy Neighbors. Thanks for joining us today on this beginning of the 4th of July weekend. And we are doing you a favor today. I know you're going to thank me. You're going to love it because guess what? We are at the Pony Express Car Wash. Everyone wants a clean car for the 4th. This is the time to shine up your rig. And I know you've seen this. We are on the corner of Sunnyside and Yellowstone, right across from the Maverick by the um, by the tracks. And they're opening a second location in Ammon, so we're gonna find out all about that. So we're gonna talk to Kyle. Kyle, come on in. Dun, 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 dun. Kyle Benson, the owner of Pony Express Car Wash. Okay, so let's ask some more. Oh, but by the way, really quick, if you're watching this video right now, I forget all this stuff. You're gonna see this is a dumpster fire. He's not impressed already. So <laughs> if you are watching this, please share this video so we can get more exposure to all those. I'm gonna hit right post, I'm gonna share. We love to get more exposure for any of our local businesses. And if you love real estate, that's what we do. Head over to the Murdoch Man Marine Company page and like and follow over there because it's a crazy time in real estate and we'd love to help you sell your home or buy your next home. Hi, I'm Kyle! Fancy meeting you here! So Kyle, let's talk about this. So Pony Express, you guys opened how long ago at this location? So this location opened in October of 2019. So okay. we're coming up on our two-year anniversary. Fantastic. Now, so if who, who can come here? What What is it considered? Because it's, I mean, it's, it is a fancy, fancy car wash. It is. So is, is this open to anybody to come? Anybody? To drive on in? Yeah, anybody with a car. Any, any, anybody with a car? Not Preferably you know wants to are. drive. That's right. <laughs> so in this, how much does it cost to get your car washed here? What are your options? Because you look at this and you're like, man, it's probably too pricey for me. You know, yeah. I'm on a realtor's budget. <laughs> Um, it's we're, we're pretty standard. We we did a lot of in investigating the the local lay of the land, I guess, mm -hmm. when when we came in and decided to build these. So our our pricing is very competitive with everybody else in the in the area. What's your range? How how so low can you go to how high does it go? We start at eight dollars and we finish at twenty. We also offer memberships that start at twenty and end at forty. So when you say membership, what does that mean? So that's like it. It's kind of like a, a Netflix type subscription. You play, you pay your monthly amount, and you watch whatever you want uh -huh. on Netflix. Here, you pay your monthly amount, and you wash your car as often as you need to. So why does that subscription change? Why are the prices different? So it's all about the level of car wash. So oh, okay. are you getting the basic wash, or are you getting the top dog and the highest tier? Gotcha. So depending on how much you pay per month, you can get the, the hot top dog every single time. That's right. What if you don't want the top dog every time, just every once in a while? So that that's a little bit different. We have to kind of adjust. Can you do that? So it's a little more of a challenge. Oh, so that's what I do. It really that's depends much. on how much time the customer wants to invest in changing their plan routine. Gotcha. So if, so if I have, let's say the middle tier car wash, right? Mm -hmm. And I want to do the super booty wax -o a million. Do, can I pay when I come to do more? Or do I do I have to change my plan? You have to change the plan. Oh, to gotcha, work. gotcha. Yeah. So you want to think through what you're going to want yep. most of the time. Exactly. So, most people don't do that, though. It's People are creatures well, of habits. Well, I'm not like most people, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. People tend to be creatures of habits, so they, yes. they pick one and they generally stick with it. Yes. Some people will change for the winter or the summer oh. based on the season. Gotcha, do gotcha. a little different thing for, for their car seasonally. Yeah. So if you get the subscription, can we walk over this way? How does it work? So if you have the subscription, how do you, how does this process work? So you come into the car wash entrance, just like a normal customer. And you or... come off of Yellowstone. This is the only entry? No, no, we, we can enter on Sunnyside, okay. kind of a backdoor approach. Okay. And then Yellowstone's okay. kind of the one that stands out a little bit more. Perfect. Um, this gentleman's a member. He came in to our VIP lanes. We have two oh, of them. Cool. And, at the location here and in Ammon. Let's walk this way so we can see the front. Okay. Okay. So you roll in, there's a, a specialized RFID sticker in the window of each of our members. Oh. And they come to the member lanes. Gotcha. And the system sees that the RFID tag is active. Where does that tag go? It goes in the windshield. Oh. It's okay. obscure, so it's not really something that stands out gotcha. a lot, especially inside the car. So. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, they just roll up. When it's their turn, the gate pops open. They don't have to get out any forms of payment or anything like that because it's it's handled automatically. Again, similar to Netflix. Perfect. Since there's nobody here, can we look at this? Sure. 
So from oh, here, is this the menu? Working. Oh, this one's not working. Let's look at that one. Don't get this one in the shop. So do you get the menu right here, or is this just for fun? It's down. <laughs> but I'll bring that up on video in front of everybody. Yeah. I'm just kidding. He's right. So you just select your car wash in here, and you pay for it with a car. Can you pay cash? You can pay cash as well. Ah, so, all the works. Yep. So now, I'm thinking about this. If you have a membership, these lanes probably go a little faster. You're going to get through. They do. They, they go a lot faster. They're VIP, so they're, they're designed to get you through quicker. Uh -huh. Okay, so now let me ask some more questions because I'm I love a car wash, by the way. So this is a really long car wash. Yes. Is there any real? Oh wait, did I ask all the questions? Oh no, come over here. What about Ammon? You said. So this one's over here on Yellowstone and Sunnyside. Yep. But you're opening an Ammon location. It's actually already open. It's open. We opened two Saturdays ago, so tomorrow's the two-week anniversary there. Uh -huh. um, ribbon cutting. Um, on Thursday this next week, on the 8th at noon. Do anything special? Open to the public. Uh -huh. We do have a few things going on, including a dunk tank, <gasps> so come to get wet. Nice! We have a few other little venues, the Dinky Donuts and the Drink Factory. Will nice. be there, so. so really fun. Yes. What time is that happening? It starts at, we'll probably get things going about 11. The ribbon cutting with the Chamber of Commerce is at noon, and then we'll keep going for probably till about 2 o'clock. Perfect, and this location is on Hit Road. Hit Road and John Adams, and John right Adams. on the corner. So it's easy to get in. There's a new part of John Adams that was that was constructed for the car wash. Wow. So Good it's fancy. easy to get in and out. Right next to Elite Auto, just right down from the first street. Entrance. That's correct. Yep. Super easy to find. Yep. Okay, now we plug the good stuff. Now I want to talk about the car wash. <laughs> okay, so this is long. So did you guys specifically build it longer than I normally see a car wash? Is this? There's definitely a purpose. So. Ah. It's like washing the dishes at home. The longer they sit in the, in the, in the sink and have water and chemistry to work on them, uh -huh. the cleaner things are going to be when they come out. So there are more things than the standard, like if you're a shorter car wash, you're not going to, this will get you cleaner? Am yes. I assuming something? It, it will get you cleaner. Ah. Yes. A lot of it is dwell time. It just has, you have more time in a car wash with chemistry and things to do their job. Mm -hmm. So that equals a cleaner car at the end. So what are the what are the options that you can have inside this car? So I'm gonna walk this way. Let's look yeah. in. Uh, so how much is it gonna cost for me to have Tommy walk through the car wash? Because every kid wishes they could walk through the car wash. Would you die or just mainly major injuries? It's not advisable. Okay. You're definitely gonna want a wetsuit. Tommy's tough. He's the kind of guy that if you send him through the car wash. He's getting taken. Yeah. Tommy, would you go through the car wash? You want, no. All right, well, he's no fun anyway. So when you go in there, what are the things that, that are elective or what are the things you should be getting in the car wash? So each one of our washes has the same identical wash mm -hmm. as far as the washing process. From the base all the way up? Yes. Okay. So the things that, that separate the two top washes from the base wash are, you know, there, we have on our top wash, we have a ceramic sealant. It helps oh. take out some of the blemishes you get just from everyday driving. Oh, really? Yes. So, are, I there, mean, are those car zits? You said blemishes, that's a girl thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. It, I didn't it, warn you that was funny. <laughs> I should have warned you about that. Yeah. Um, it also helps to prevent some of those. Oh. Um, the two top washes are also, uh, they have the ability to help keep your car clean longer between washes because of some of the additives that we put on them oh, in the car wash. So. Oh, is there, so always for me it's the drying factor. The Isn't top washes that? are definitely going to dry better as well. So why is it, why, because in the car wash, should you, should drying be the most important thing or should you just get dry out and dry off and drive through the wind? Why would you dry in the car wash? It's, it's all personal preference. Ah. So the better the dry, the better the car looks when it comes out. And point. the less work for somebody when, when they're out in the vacuum in the area. Okay. So we've got, are there, is there. Do you get wax on the base or do you have to upgrade nope. the wax? Wax is an upgrade. It's okay. on the top two wash packages. Gotcha. So we also have tire shine so they look new coming out. Hi. So I didn't think I ever cared about tire shine and then I got it once and I was like, ooh, yeah. it's kind of neat because your tires it, do get dirty. Yes. But it looks really clean. Yes, they do. I mean, wow. almost new in some cases. Yes. So it looks really good. You know, good. it's that kind of, it's just that extra finishing edge, I guess. Yeah. So how long does it take to go from beginning to end in the car wash? So right now, um, 
it's timed at about three minutes, five seconds. Okay. Once, once they have actually sent you into the car wash. So when you feel that first push from the, the conveyor, yeah. it's about three minutes, five seconds. Okay, I have another question. I don't know, I'm throwing this one on you. What do they spray? What are they spraying on the cars? That's a great question. We only do it during bug season. It's a bug spray. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Again, it comes back to dwell time. So we put that on first so that they that chemistry can start breaking down bugs before you actually get into the car wash. So you give it that extra time during bug season. Well, we have now the perfect time segue. We have two giant trucks yep. loading in. Is there a car that's too big to go through the car wash? There or are a few. Something? Yes, there are a few. Um, I think we are, we take about as big as you can get. So yeah. our height max is seven foot three. Okay. And we can take tires as wide as 14 inches. Wow, those are big tires. They're very So big. like I think of a van, a tall, you know, if you had extra accoutrement on the top, up to seven? Seven foot three. Seven foot three. Yes. Pretty much any truck, but if yes. you have things added on the top, on the top, what about add-ons? Like a camper? Or uh, something. This guy's already too big. Look, they're backing him up. Obey the rules when you come to the car wash, by the way. Rules are good at the car wash. They're very good. So there are certain things that we can take through. You know, so the the tents that people are installing for kind of, kind of a semi-permanent base in the back mm -hmm. of trucks. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a no-go. You yeah. know, things that people have in the back of their trucks, like four-wheelers and motorcycles typically won't wash those yeah. it's just it's it's too risky for the the consumer to go in with those items and will they tell you at here and saying hey this is probably yes. not good to go through okay yes, yes. We, we try to do that preemptively just to save people time so um but you know a lot of these baskets that people put on top of their yeah, cars yeah, now yeah. we we can take those that's okay it's not gonna get ripped racks, off those, those types of things those, those features we can take those okay um we have a lot of features as far as People that have those accessories, mm -hmm. um, we can take specific brushes off based on what they have. Oh wow! So it, it does impact how good the wash is on that part of the car, but we can still wash everything else yeah. for you. So it, can, it works out good. Can someone take if they want their um, their pull behind trailer through? Can they pull it through? No, they're typically too tall. All right. I was just thinking about it when you want to wash it off. No go. All right. No speaking go. of work, let's talk about over here. So you got vacuums? Yes. And then what high else vacuums. after you got? Can um, you come in and just vacuum if you don't want to wash? Yes, especially members. Members are open to, to utilize the facility as, as they please. Whether they need a wash or not, they can use the vacuums at their at their leisure. Uh -huh. so if you So if you're in between and you're not, and let's say you washed yesterday, but then your kids spilt all your stuff, all the stuff yep. in the van. You got if you're it. a member, no problem. What if you're not a member? If you're not a member, we typically, we, we got an avenue to, to get you, you taken care of. Just come in and say, hey, I want to just vacuum me yeah. do it. So yep. talk about these vacuums, because this is pretty fancy stuff. So they're they're pretty simple to use. They just pull out. They're ready to go. Oh, and it has the little... Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So it's got Get a crevice tool. Seat. Yep. Good crevice tool on the end. So we have mat, mat holders right here for people. Some people like to really get after it and and, and, and really vacuum scrub their from there. Mats. Every vacuum station has an air gun. What is that for? So what would you air gun your car for? People use them for a lot of things. So specifically inside the car, they get the air vents, oh. cup holders. It's a lot easier to blow them out and uh -huh. then vacuum up things from there. So you should air first and then vacuum. Yes, definitely recommended. Air first then vacuum, okay. Um, the, a lot of people use them. You know, there's always a little residual water that comes out of the mirrors, for example. Yes, when you and come it out drips of the car. down the side and of my car. It drips down the side of the car. That's a air great tool. Yes. Excellent tool These for touching that, that piece. Yeah. That's amazing. And so, right on cue. So you guys let's, have Let's towels. walk over here. So right. this, this is for your mats. Oh, mats. So every other station has these. Okay. Except for the handicap one, it has it on both sides. We have it, on the other vacuums, we have a bin where all the all the towels are. So oh, it's there's a spot. right there in the between? Yes, right in between. So every car has them very conveniently. Can you see it right over there, Tommy? Yeah, there we go. So right there next to it. Okay. So we have those. There's a return receptacle on the top. Oh, nice. So, yeah, we so you can wipe up. off your window or whatever yeah. it is when you pull in. A lot of people use them in their dashboards. People oh. like to, a lot of people use them on their tires to clean out the rims. Oh, okay. so you, oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Obviously I'm not a professional car washer. I like washing my car, but I don't like doing any of the stuff afterwards. Yeah. And you said also mats. Yes, we can walk down here. Let's walk we down probably want the We lost Tommy over there. We'll just ignore him. He'll, he'll catch up. 
You guys are hopping. It's busy. This today. is busy. It is. Well, it is the time to wash your car. It's the 4th of July weekend. And the sun's out. The sun's it's hot. out. Look how pretty that truck looks, all shiny. Look at this. So these are floor mat washers. So it on the front end, you zip them through kind of like a paper shredder. They just go in. You have a water on, water off function. So why would you put your mats through there without any water on them? Because it's really a lot better with pet hair. No. They take pet hair off really good without like the, the water. The, the carpeted mats. The particular. carpeted mats. Yeah. You think this will take pet hair off? Yeah, it's not perfect. I mean, pet hair is tough. Oh yeah, it's right. Worst. It's it's really tough, but this does a pretty good job with them. Wow. Um, so I always recommend people that have that. You know, they they run it through dry first, then they run it through with the water. Okay. So you got water and shampoo on the front end, vacuum on the back side to vacuum the water out. What? Under sixty seconds. No. So you can put your carpet mats through this. Yes. I thought it was just for rubber mats. No. No carpeted yeah, mats. Yeah. It takes just about everything as long as they're able to flatten out. So there are a few. Mass out there, like the weather techs, they, they get a little the, tough because the, they're molded, the molded ones. and they, they won't slide through because they don't flatten out. But uh -huh. you can see with these ones that these young men are working on, they've, they've got a little cupping to them, but they flatten out as they go through. Wow. And they come out looking almost new. Can you send any children through there if they won't take baths? I wouldn't recommend okay. it. Good idea. But I didn't know I'd, for sure I'd, if that's what they were doing. I, I'd leave that up to the customer <laughs> to decide that, that piece. So speaking of eco-friendly, where does all this water go? So. All the water that we have in the car wash is goes into an underground system that we have. Uh -huh. It's cleaned up from there, and then we reuse it in the car wash. Really? So yeah, so we we recycle all the water. Wow, that is awesome. Because that's a big, you know, that's a big thing. It is. Especially you didn't have when any picketers out here picketing no. your water usage. <laughs> no, so that I, I shouldn't mean, encourage that. Don't picket stuff. A, a year like this, you know, where we're we're yeah. having our time with water, we yeah. didn't get enough. You know, it, it helped. You know, we're, we're trying to do our part wow. to make sure that we're environmentally friendly where we can be. That's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, so what did we miss? Is there any features that I missed? Let's see. I think that pretty well That's covered pretty them. That's pretty amazing. This is an all-in-one encompassing situation. Yeah. And now this whole setup is an Ammon. This, it's, it's very similar. There are a few differences at the mm -hmm. Ammon store. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a little different high pressure system over there uh -huh. and a little bit, the, the drying system is a little bit different as uh -huh. well. I'm excited. I'm excited to give it a shot. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, one more time. What are the range of car washes and when are you open? Okay, range of car washes again are from eight to $20. Memberships are 20 to 40. Mm -hmm. um, hours of operation are 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sundays are eight to eight. Is it the same in the winter? We change a little bit. We, we close at eight during the winter instead of nine. Gotcha, gotcha. Because it's a good idea to wash your car in the winter. It's actually a better idea because the salt is very destructive to our vehicles. Yeah. So it, it's important to get it off and get one of the higher level washes because it's got the underbody to take care of that part of your car too. Makes sense. That's awesome. All right. This is amazing. This is a great car wash. <laughs> this is a great car wash. Okay, you guys, it's the weekend. Get down here, get your car wash. You can hit it in Ammon. You can hit it over here on um, Yellowstone and Sunnyside. It's a great time. Wash your mats. Wash your mats. Oh, that's my aha for the day. I had no idea you could send the carpet mats yeah. through there. So that's awesome. All right. Well, we're at the Pony it, Express. One more thing on that note. The important thing is the vacuums and the mats, the towels, all that is included with every car wash. So this is not an extra. You get it with your car that's wash. That's right. Might yep. as well take advantage to get out here and get your car all spick and span. Exactly. That's awesome. All right. Fantastic. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you, Kyle. Welcome. All right, you guys. Again, it's Pony Express Car Wash. Get in here and check it out. Get your car wash. Get over on Thursday to the open, the grand opening in Ammon. Right. Get a little dank dunk take going on. Fantastic. All right. Amazing. All right. This has been Jessica Carton with Murdoch Man Marine Company. Your nosy neighbors keeping you in the know.